Now, if you've landed on this video, I think it's safe to assume you have a vague idea of what TubeBuddy is, and I can bet money that you are a YouTube creator or you are thinking of starting a YouTube channel. In this video, I'll explain what TubeBuddy is, but more importantly, I will show you how you can use it on your iPhone, on your tablet, on your Android phone to make it easier for you to plan which videos you're gonna make in the future to see how well your videos are ranking, what tags you are ranking for, to see some suggestions on what you should do to improve the performance of the videos you've already posted, and just in general to keep you on track, to keep getting more views, keep getting more subscribers. And this is a perfect time if you are a small YouTuber to start using something like TubeBuddy to help grow your channel just like I'm doing myself. So before we jump in, my name's Cairo. This is my million dollar hustle channel. I'm trying to get my net worth from zero basically to a net worth of over a million within the next three years and YouTube is definitely part of that strategy. So I need to make sure that I am optimizing my videos as best I can. Now, if you don't have TubeBuddy yet, you can get a free account by clicking in the link in the description and you can start off on the free account and then upgrade at some point if you'd like to. I'm on the pro version. I think I might upgrade soon to get a little bit more functionality, like being able to A, B test thumbnails. And that's basically where you give two thumbnail suggestions and the algorithm tells you which one works better on YouTube, which can be really helpful because thumbnails can pretty much make or break the success of your video. Thumbnails and titles, that's what you'll hear all the time about how to succeed on YouTube. So once you've clicked the link in the description, register your account, you can do this on any of your browsers on your phone or tablet as well as on desktop. Register that account, then go to your app store and download the TubeBuddy app. Right, so it's pretty straightforward to do. Once you have signed in on the app, you should see the channel pages that you have registered. So here on mine, you can see my two, there's the Million Dollar Hustle one, and then there's my music channel, The Curious Incident. Now you can't see my subscribers for the life of Kairon because I've got that hidden. I think I'm about 300 at the moment, which is cool. The reason why I hide the subscribers is because all the YouTube gods tell me that Unless you have over a thousand subscribers, it might make it less likely that people will watch your video if it has low subscribers and low view count because it's a brand new video and you're a brand new creator. So if you're starting out, that might be something you wanna test. I'm testing it kind of on both different channels. I'm showing it on my one channel and hiding it on the other one, seeing if it makes much difference. But also using TubeBuddy, I've been able to rank slightly better for some keywords on my Curious Incident channel versus my Life of Cairo channel. So it's still all a lot of testing, but as a new YouTuber, that is what a lot of life is gonna be. Even as you get bigger, you're still gonna be playing around with keywords, with titles, with thumbnails, and with the algorithm. All right, so let's have a look in the Life of Cairo one, for example. We click through. Some of this stuff is similar to what you'd see in the YouTube Studio app, which you can also get on your phone. I use that all the time even more so than I use TubeBuddy because I use TubeBuddy on my desktop. But if you are bound to your iPhone, then you can definitely use the TubeBuddy app on your phone to plan your videos and help get more subscribers and more views. So then let's click through onto this video and see what comes up. So this is basically a checklist of how well this video is doing, what you could do to improve on it. So I've got all these green ticks, I've uploaded a good thumbnail, I've added tags, I've added tags to the description, and it gives you a little bit of info about what each of these sections means. The only thing it's saying that I still have to do for this video to optimize it is to share it on Twitter and get a like for it on Facebook. Um, now, that's the best practices section. Let's click on over to tags. And then in this, and this I find super helpful because this is telling you how well these tags are ranking in terms of search. So as you can see, this top one here, I'm ranking number two for the search term, couch flipping YouTube. That's pretty incredible because I have far fewer than a thousand subscribers. It's the first video I've made about flipping items, about couch flipping, and I'm ranking number two for a keyword that seems pretty legit. Even how to couch flip, there's quite a lot of competition, but because I was using TubeBuddy to optimize the description, to optimize the title, and to target these keywords, I'm like, okay, cool, I'll target how to couch flip, and I'm ranked number five. So. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty cool. Also number four for couch flipping for beginners, number three for furniture flip side hustle, so that's an even broader term. 
So I think that is pretty exciting and that's why this video is actually one of my best videos in terms of search. And you know that there's different ways people can find you on YouTube. One is by YouTube recommending your stuff like on the browse feature, in the suggestions feature. But search is pretty amazing because the people that are clicking on your video, they're there because they're looking for an answer to a question they might have. So people watching this video, that's why it's got a pretty good engagement ratio because they're looking for advice on how to couch flip. So try and keep that in mind when making your videos as well. Now a cool feature is that you can click on this suggest button at the bottom and it'll show you other tags that are used by some of the other videos that are doing well for these general terms. So couch flipping UK, couch flipping marketplace, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a cool way to get some extra ideas if some of your tags are not necessarily performing. So for example, you know, thrift store furniture flip, maybe I can use my tag limit, my character limit, and uh, by getting rid of that one and adding one of the other ones from the suggested section over here. All right, let's look at a different example. So I've been making videos about cash cow YouTube channels. These are YouTube channels where you're making videos without really showing your face or necessarily using your voice. You're outsourcing a lot of that work. So let's let's hit the explore button and then let's type in YouTube cash cow. Okay, type in search. Now you'll see a search volume value, a competition value and an overall value. So that's not too bad, 63, that's like a pretty competitive thing for you to rank for. If the competition score was way higher, let's say it was in the 80s, it might be hard to rank for that search term or for that tag. Uh, same thing with search volume. If the search volume was very low, it might not be worth trying to rank for it because no one's actually searching it on YouTube. That doesn't mean it won't do well in the browse or suggested features, but generally speaking, you want it to have at least some decent search volume and to not be too competitive if you are a newer YouTube channel. So the tags that come up, these are a whole bunch over there. These are the related tags that you could use in your descriptions, in your titles to try and rank your video. You can also click this autocomplete section and that's showing you what people often type in when they're searching for something similar to this. So YouTube cash cow, YouTube cash cow channels, YouTube cash cow channel ideas. This is essentially autocomplete. You know, when you're typing in Google and you might type in YouTube cash and then it pops up cow ideas, right? So this is really helpful, especially when you're planning your videos and trying to figure out what videos you might be likely to rank for and then writing your descriptions. This stuff is gold. Now back on the home screen for this particular channel, you can click on the comments tab. It'll load all your comments. It's a nice way to be able to respond to people, especially when you're a newer YouTuber, you wanna to respond to your comments as quickly as you can. Obviously this top one is spam, so ignore that one. But you can also put in canned responses. Now that is like a pre-written message. And this might happen if you get a lot of similar questions or if you want to add a link to something, you can put the link in your canned response and then personalize the message, but it'll make it much faster because you just click on these three little dots on the side, reply with a canned response. You can hide the comment, delete the comment from YouTube. So yeah, this top one is obviously spam, so I'm just gonna delete that one. Pretty straightforward stuff. Now in the bottom, this is also a cool feature. It's the milestones feature. This just helps you stay motivated, helps you stay on track with your YouTube goals. You can actually even download these and share them. What's quite popular is to share them on uh, different Reddit subreddits to that are catering towards new YouTubers and people share them. I don't know about that. Personally, I haven't done any of that, but you can download these little milestones. Hey, I made it to 2,500 views or hey, I made it to 500 subscribers. And it's cool, it's a nice way for the community to engage with each other. So now if we click on menu, we can click on Tag Explorer, which I've already shown you. Topic Planner is helpful because once you've figured out the titles that you likely to use in a future video, you can save them all in here. So here are some of my ones. Um, best UK credit cards in 2020 for beginners. Now why have I saved it? It's because I'm more likely to rank for that term. You can add further details in here as well. You could even add your bullet points or your script. 
Uh, personally, I use Google Docs for that because I find it a little bit easier to do. So I've made a few other videos concerning TubeBuddy that more specifically look into the functionality of the desktop version. I'll post those in the description as well. So make sure you check out that playlist because it'll be really helpful as you grow as a new YouTuber. Now, if this video was helpful, crush the like button and subscribe. Join me on my million dollar hustle. I'm documenting everything I learned along the way, whether it's got to do with YouTube, whether it's got to do with property, starting businesses, other side hustles, and it is a mad adventure. So join me, click the subscribe button, watch these videos next. I'll see you in there and let's hustle together.